Welcome back to Light Source Engraving. I'm Patrick, your host as usual. If you're new here, thank you so much for popping in and visiting. And if you're a returning viewer, much appreciated. Thank you so much. Today, have a fun little project. How about making your own mouse? With the combination of a hardware kit and 3D printed parts, put those two together and you have a functional mouse that you can actually build with your kids. Now this mouse hardware comes in a kit from Bamboo Labs. However, you can print the files with any printer that you have. So you don't have to have a Bamboo Labs printer to do this project. So if you want to have some fun and make your kids a mouse or make yourself one, it's a lot of fun. Just head to the Bamboo Labs website, grab yourself a kit and download the files and print away. But before you do that, watch the rest of this video because I'm going to show you a couple versions that I printed and how to put one together. So stick around. What we have here on the screen is version 2 or the second version of the mouse I printed, not version 2. Here is the first version. It has green on the inside. This is what my daughter wanted. And then this bone white on the outside. So here's a better look of the green. So you print the outside, you print the inside, for the top you print the bottom, and then you also print the battery compartment, and then it also holds the USB receiver. So very well done models here. But that is it, everything fits together nice, and I'll show you everything that comes in the kit so you can make this, make a mouse like this that works in a do-it-yourself kit kind of way. So I'm going to put the link in the description that will bring you to this hardware kit page. And what you're going to see is a combo where you can order multiple kits and get a discount or the individual compartment kits. And they have different ones like the jet engine, the engine, the marble run. And here we have the mouse. And this is what I purchased. And it says that it does not include the 3D printed parts, but that's okay because right below this mouse, they list the three compatible kits that you can print and make your own custom mouse. So let's head to this first one. You'll see this is kind of a sleek looking mouse. And if you don't have a bamboo printer, you just click the raw models the raw model files and then you can download the STLs to print so that's the first version then we have the Manta mouse so it has these extensions these little wings on the side and again raw model files and then you have the third version this is the first version that I printed that my daughter wanted. So that's the version that's complete that I showed you in the intro there. Now let's go back to the first one. This is the one that my son had me print out and here it is. So it has the organic holes in the side here. So that's the one we're going to be putting together today. And when you download these in your Bamboo Slicer, you'll see that this one has all three versions on separate build plates. And then it has the components that you need to print this. Or not to print it, but the components that you need to put it together. So you can do this in one collar and this in another collar, which, which is what I did. After my son picked out blue and the pure white, so that's what we're going to put together today. And again, I'll have the link in the description. It will be an affiliate link if you want to support the channel, but it'll take you to this kits page where you'll see a listing of all the kits. So that's where you'll pop up. Now let's get to a very satisfying experience, which is 
Removing these tree supports. Aren't they beautiful? So let's see how well bamboo did. Makes me a little nervous. loose then we can pop these off and then pop these off now we should get them moving and there we go okay for this model there are supports underneath with the screws screw into and uh, they're very hard to get to so I had to get my needle nose pliers out to pull those out but that's all the support material removed so now we have the general idea of assembly will be here and then here and then we'll have our complete mouse this will hook on there and looks like a perfect fit. That blue and white looks pretty cool. Now the other one that I put together, I put this together with my son and my daughter so they could both see how it was done. And then I wanted to do the second one on camera. So let's unbox this kit and we'll show you what's in here. Here is the lens for the laser for the mouse. So this is just a little plastic lens that you see on the bottom of your mice. Here we have the power cable. And in the bag with the power cable, is the on off switch for the mouse so this is what's underneath the mouse and slides back and forth to turn it on and off here we have the mouse wheel so here's the wheel for your mouse Here's the screws. And last, we have the circuit board. And inside the circuit, with the circuit board is our Bluetooth receiver, or our wireless receiver. Not Bluetooth, it's 2.4 gigahertz. So there's our circuit board and we are ready to begin assembly so on the bottom you'll see we have the circle and the rectangle for our LEDs and the lens only fits on top of that one way you want to pop that in there first before you put the circuit board in. Alright folks, so we put our lens assembly in to the base, pop your switch into the base. I'm going to have it set so it's pushed all the way to the left. So I'm going to push that all the way to the left. So you can do right or left. So there it's all the way to the left. And then for our circuit board, that will set this way. So flipping it over, we want this to be all the way to the right, which it is. Here's your on off switch for the circuit board. As it focuses, right here's the on off switch, so there's on and off. So we want to make sure this is mounted 
pushed to the left, which is to the right when it's upside down. And then we should be able to set our circuit board down. It should fit right into place. Those lenses aren't lined up exactly. You just have to. And there it is flattened all the way to the pins. You can see pin there. Here and here. So it is lined up. And that is all we have to do to get the circle board in place. Next we can install our power cables. So I'm going to hold the circuit board in place and rotate this over and then pop this support out. We don't need that. And here's our battery cables. And as you can see, the short cable will go to the back of the mouse and the long part will go to the front of the mouse. And then you just need to gently bend this wire and solder so you get it at about a 90 degree angle. Just gently bend that. And then this pops into place. That'll be where the positive of the ba the battery rests. And we want to pop that into place right here. And it will lock in place. It does have tabs. So now that we have that part installed, let's go ahead and install our cable connector. That only installs one way, which is then we just do the same procedure that we did for the other. Gently bend this to about a 90 degree angle. Spin it around. And it will lock into place. Just give it a push in there. And then you need to push it a little bit more to make it lock. And I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Nah. This is hard to do when you're trying to look at the camera. Make sure you guys can see. But there it is. Locked into place, push it down, and then the tabs make it snap. So now that's not going anywhere. But there's uh mouse wheel in place. Button works. Smooth scrolling. All right, so we know that's good. Now we can assemble the chassis. All right, I have my screw on the end of my hex driver. Pop this part of the chassis into place. Just gently push that wire down out of the way. Then once we're lined up, And just start screwing them right into place. So there will be four to hold the inner print down and then two to affix the outer body. Now we're ready to pop the outer cover onto the inner and make sure we sitting there nice and flush and we are it looks perfect and we'll be done with this part all right oh and another thing I forgot to mention are these sliders. And the sliders are on the indicated areas on the bottom of the mouse. All right, moment of truth. Let's make sure 
that it powers on. And we have a light. Yay. So that part's working. Let me turn it off. Pop our battery cover on. Fits nice and tight. Very good. Okay, I have plugged the mouse into my PC and I'm currently using this mouse on the screen. So the wheel works. Let's click on the mouse. We use the mouse to click on the mouse. And the wheel is working. Let's see, the wheel button. Yep, wheel scroll button is working. Okay, so we do have our third button on the mouse. So it looks like we are good to go. Yep. All right. So one other thing I did want to show you is when you pop this uh, battery cover off, well, when you pop the battery cover off, you turn it off, you also have a spot to store your wireless connector. So your little USB plug will not hide real nice in there. And then you just pop your battery cover back on and that'll keep it in place and you're good to go. So there you have it. Here's the two mice. So we have the white and green and the blue and white both functional and the kids had fun building the first one and I think I might take this one back apart and let my son put it together so he'll get the full experience and learn how to put that mouse together And that's all I have for you today. Just a really cool little project to do. You can do it as a family. Do it for yourself. It's fun to make your own mouse. You can make it in whatever colors you want, on whatever printer you want. It doesn't have to be Bamboo Labs, but they do have the mouse kit and the printable files available. Really handy for everybody to use. So here's the two different versions. Let's see. There's the green and white. That white's kind of blasting with the light and then here's our blue and white both functional and at a cost of twelve dollars per kit it's actually reasonable um, when you compare it to you can go to Walmart and buy a ten dollar house or twelve bucks and print your own and have more fun doing it but that's it for today thank you so much for tuning in thank you for my patrons for supporting this channel Thank you to everybody that has watched, liked, and subscribed. I greatly appreciate it. And most importantly, everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.